Hey guys, one that's a channel. My name is Mike. Today we are doing another speed paint. Now and today we are creating bunny. And can I just say I I'm proud of you guys. Okay, thank you to everybody that voted. Okay, I've been wanting to draw bunny for the longest time because she is my favorite character. And I was like, I just kept pinning her on the pole. And I was like, okay. When are they gonna pick Bunny? When are they gonna pick Bunny? <laughs> but no, seriously, um, thank you to everybody that voted. I'm so glad that I finally got to draw Bunny because she really is one of my favorite characters from the story. So yeah, um, this piece took um three hours and 17 minutes. So it was one of the shorter, well, not shorter ones, but like it was one of the ones in the mid range, I guess you could say. So yeah, um, this one was of course a lot of fun to make. Now I actually tried a different style for this one. Um, usually I like to go for the nice cartoony slash realistic style, like you know combining them together. But this one I decided to stay on the more cartoony side, just because I feel like I wanted to do something different. You know, I, I like I love trying out new styles and trying to see what I can do. So yeah, um, let me know down below if you guys like this style better or. Or do you like the other one, like the realistic slash cartoony one? Let me know down below. So, yeah, because I like, you know, definitely had a lot of fun, you know, trying something new. So, yeah, um, now I will say with this one, I decided to take a different approach on the way that I um went about it. I decided to do the line art first, you know, instead of just like, you know, coloring as I go in. Because I feel like, you know, that would have been better. Like, that feels like a technique that I should use when doing art. So, yeah, I'm going to try that from now on. And yeah, now I'm currently um drawing Bunny's fist. Like, I actually want to make her do like this pose where she has her fist blot up ready to fight, you know, off the infected. Although that kind of does represent Zizzy because she did fight off the infected, Um, I believe, in chapter four. Um, Because like, you know, when she, you know, knocked Polly out, that was really funny. So, yeah, um... Bunny basically doesn't need her crossbow. She proved that in chapter 7, Metro, when she left us with it. So, yeah, um, I was going to draw the crossbow at first, but um, it did not go well. I wasn't sure on how I wanted to do it. So, yeah, it was looking very strange. You know, I did not like the way it was coming out. So, yeah, I decided to just, like, you know, to scrap that. And I decided to make Bunny, you know, um, bow her fists up and ready to fight, you know, like on a stance, you know, ready to fight off the infected. So, yeah, because she did say she was going to fight off the infected. Like, you know, she said, stay here. I'll fight off the infected. And you guys go like will you go like yeah so yeah um so that was um a lot of fun to do i'm so glad that i decided to stick with that pose now we are working on the dress some more i actually decided to give bunny like a nice little flower you know i feel like that's something she would actually wear on the dress if um piggy was more detailed i feel like you know that's something that you would actually see on her dress so yeah um that was like you know a nice you know feature that i wanted to do at first it was going to be a bow but then it starts to look like a flower and i was like you know what what the heck let's just like you know let's just stick with it so yeah um i'm currently trying to do like some wrinkles um these didn't come out too good. I mean, they came out okay, but um, yeah, I feel like I should, you know, work on that and get better with that. So yeah, that is definitely something that I wish I did better on. Yeah, I actually almost forgot to add bunnies here. Um, so yeah, right now we are currently adding that. Um, cause like I want to actually give her like you know bangs and also like a nice little like you know short hairstyle. So yeah, cause I feel like that really suits her. And yeah. And now we are currently working on the face. Now I will say the face was a little difficult to draw than other characters just because of like the way that the eye was like, you know, shaped. I, I wasn't sure how I wanted to do it. And with the glistening and everything, I kept redoing that so many times. It's like, it felt weird to me. Like I knew I was capable of doing it because I did it with um many other characters like um Doggy and um who else did I do, with, do it with? I did it with a few other characters. So yeah i knew i was capable of it but it was like looking very very strange to me so yeah i did keep it though i did find like you know the right um spot for it so yeah um we of course drew bunny's eye patch at first it looked strange to me but then i was like okay it doesn't look too bad i don't know why it looks strange to me maybe because it looks like um just like this black eye so yeah you know um now we are currently working on the nose i wanted to outline the nose so i felt like you know it would make it pop out more and yeah, so that's why I decided to outline that. Now with the mouth, I was actually like working around a lot with this. I wasn't sure on how I wanted to make, you know, her mouth. Like, like the mouth, I feel like it's one of the most important things about like a piggy character. You know, basically just decides like, you know, the, their mood, you know, for the entire picture. So yeah, at first I was going to make Bunny like, you know, um, scared, you know, like there's a bunch of effects coming at her. I wanted it to represent that. But then I decided to do something a little different and actually make her look, you know, um, fearless, you know, like excited to do this, you know, because, you know, I feel like, you know, Bunny is Zizzy are the type of people that are excited like they love and fighting off the they love fighting off the infection you know like they're always excited to do that so that is why I decided to make her like you know smile and yeah I was going to give her like this like nice little smirk at first 
first and yeah now we are currently moving on to the shading now this is what i was talking about when i said i decided to do something different with the shading um right now um i am currently shading and i'm making like these dark lines and it's actually like a solid color but then i decided to turn the opacity down and that is something that i actually learned um from watching a bunch of speed paints online now i always wondered how people did that you know with the shading um for example sona draw stuff i always wondered how she did that and um other people that i watch in the community so i was like okay wow this is um exciting because i've never done it before so yeah i was very excited to do that for my first time with shading so yeah i think it didn't come out too bad i could have did better with it like there were some parts that could have looked you know darker and could have looked more like shadow but yeah um let me know down below if you guys like that technique of shading that i did or if i should go back to the other one where i just you know um get like the airbrush and like i shade like so and make it look more realistic so i feel like you know those are both different types of shading um they're like completely different but they both still make it look like shadow and one makes it look realistic and one makes it look more cartoony so yeah that's again um something that i you know would really appreciate you guys let me know in the comments below if i should stick with the cartoony slash realistic style or if i should um stick with the more cartoony style so yeah um i really had a lot of fun with shading i will say that because um i was so excited by the way it was coming out like i had never done it before so yeah like that was definitely one of my favorite things to do with this piece right here and yeah we are currently shading um bunny's ears right now and, um and yeah i decided to to go all in just like you know she her face and her um I, not okay not her ipads i'm about to say eye patch um her arms you know and her hair as well um the only thing i didn't shade was like the inside of our ears but um yeah everything else i pretty much did like from the nose to the dress um from the pants as well and yeah so that was a lot of fun i'm so glad that i got to do that and yeah um i i'm always open to trying new things and new techniques when it comes to art so yeah, and I'm also learning a lot about this app. Like, I literally found the stabilizer tool. I knew there was one, but I couldn't find it for the longest time. And then, you know, um, one one time I just like you know decided to look through the um settings and features and tools and stuff, and boom, there was a stabilizer tool. So that was really awesome. And yeah, right now I'm currently giving some shine. Um, I actually seen um Sony Draw stuff do this a lot, so I wanted to like you know try that out and see if that would work. You know, um, cause I I'm I, I'm always inspired by her. You know, I think her style is amazing. I love her art. She is such an incredible artist. Definitely one of my favorite um artists that i watch on youtube for sure so yeah um the shine didn't come out too well for me i feel like you know it didn't like go well with the airbrush me trying to like shine out like that because of the fact that i had done like these really um i guess solid colors so yeah um you could i couldn't like you know make it look realistic at that point so yeah i just decided to work with what i had at the point although i should have shaded the um eye pads i just realized that like not shaded but i should have like you know gave some white shine to the eye pads so i feel like you know that would have looked better but yeah, you know, um, I feel like, you know, this is a really fun piece to do. And I'm, again, I'm so glad I tried, you know, different things with this. You know, I tried a new style out. And yeah, again, let me know down below. Okay, I know I said this, like, you know, many, many times. So let me know down below which one you think is better so I can, you know, try that for the next one. And yeah, you know, because I'm always open to branching out into new things. And yeah, um... But yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this piece. Um, This was so much fun. I'm currently right now just like, you know, of course, doing the same old, like, you know, background thing, you know, signing the character's name, and then just like, you know, paying my name at the bottom. And yeah, guys, thank you guys so much again for watching. Let me know down below what you guys think about this on a scale of 1 to 10, because this was seriously such a fun piece to do. Also, I will have a poll out on my community tab so you guys can vote for the next one. And yeah, you know, um, I cannot wait to see who I will be drawing next in the Piggy series. But yeah, guys, um, this is Bunny. But yeah guys thank you guys so much again for watching i hope you enjoyed bunny was so much fun to make again please let me know down below which style you like better the um realistic slash cartoony style or just the like you know full on cartoony style and yeah guys also let me know down below what you guys rate this on a scale from 1 to 10 and yeah guys thank you guys so much again for watching i hope you enjoyed my name is mark and i will see you guys next time bye